Click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, today we will see what is physical quantity and its classification. I'll explain that concept with some example. We want to find out the area of classroom. We can find out that, right? Because we know the formula area is length into breadth. Suppose we want to find out density of any material. We can find out that because density is mass per unit volume. Mass we can find out as well as volume. We have a formula for volume also. So these are the quantities which are measurable. So these quantities are called as physical quantity. But suppose I am saying I am hungry. How much hungry? That we cannot measure. Suppose I am saying my mother loves me a lot. How much she loves me? That also not measurable. So the quantity which is not measurable called as non-physical quantity or that will not come under the category of physical quantity. So this is the concept of physical quantity. So in simple way we can say the quantity which are measurable called as physical quantity. There are two type of physical quantity. So classification of physical quantity comes under two category. First one is a fundamental physical quantity and second one is a derived physical quantity. Let's see what is fundamental physical quantity. Fundamental physical quantity and their units. We will see there are basically seven fundamental physical quantity or we can define fundamental quantity in such a way the physical quantity which is not depends on any other physical quantity for their measurement. These quantities are called as fundamental physical quantity. Let's see what are these quantities. We have a physical quantity. So first fundamental physical quantity is a length. Unit of length is meter. That we can write as a m. Then we have a second fundamental quantity that is mass. Unit of mass is kilogram. We can write it is kg. Then we have a time. The unit of time is seconds. It's right by S. Then we have a fourth fundamental quantity that is temperature. Its unit is Kelvin denoted by capital K. Then we have a fifth fundamental quantity that is amount of substance. Amount of substance unit is mole. Can be written as MOL small. Then we have a next physical quantity that is electric current. We know electric current, the unit of electric current is ampere, which is denoted by capital A. And the last one we have luminous intensity. Its unit is candela and which is denoted by CD. So these are the basic or we can say seven fundamental quantity. The measurement of this quantity will not depend on any other physical quantity. So these are the fundamental quantities. Let us see derived quantity. So derived quantities are the quantity which are depends on fundamental quantity for their measurement. Just take one example. Suppose we want to find out density. We know density is mass per unit volume. We know mass that is the fundamental quantity and we can find out volume by using L cube. L is nothing but length. Length is also fundamental quantity. Means if you want to find out density of any material, we have to use two fundamental quantity that is mass and length. So these quantities or measurement of these quantities are depends on the fundamental quantity. That's why these quantities are called as derived quantity. If you want to take another example, we can take for example volume. Volume is nothing but L cube. L is what? It's a length. Means if you want to find out volume, we have to take help of length. Again, volume is a derived quantity. 
we know there are seven fundamental quantity. So, excluding the seven fundamental quantity, remaining all the quantities comes in the category of derived physical quantity. So, thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned with Ikeda and please subscribe Ikeda. Thank you so much.